for um, the universal kit module, Connaughton Jolt, which gives a plus 10% run speed, minus 10%, 50% run speed for enemies. Uh, the first one I got was the temporal flux generator, which I keep forgetting to use. Um, we have a time on the Krenim. Voyager went to Krenim space looking for them a few months ago, but didn't find much more than a Vardwar and some anomalous sensor readings. But now, we found a Ferengi selling what he claims are Krenim artifacts. You are authorized to negotiate with the Ferengi and obtain these artifacts. Follow the trail where it leads. We need a weapon against the Icodians. And the Vardwa have gone to a great deal of trouble to keep whatever secrets the Krenim have out of our hands. Let's go. Where's this going? Delta Quadrant Moon. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's hope it's not too close. Should check the map. Whoops. Um, okay, let's go. It's Dingrosana Station. First time I came here, I just tried to get out of there. What's this? Mail, bank. <laughs> what a place. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. Oh, I wonder if it's any repair. That's interesting. Starts there. That's cool. So yes, um, this is. Uh, is it something in a bottle? Loading times are no joke. So I'm going to get the Chroniton Jolt from this, just because there's time in a bottle. May I help you? Yes, but Quen left me explicit instructions about this. Maybe, let's see, it was something... Krenim? 
I, I'm sorry, but my instructions were very clear. Well, I'm sorry, but I need this job. I'm trying to save up enough for a ticket off this station. You, you can? What am I saying? You have a starship, of course you can. Go on ahead. Quen and the other buyer are in the cargo bay, but you better hurry. They were trying to get the deal finalized before you could stop them. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's one way to get get through. See ya. To my ship. <clears throat> Free passage anyway. Like. Karate chop! Not so fast! The gentleman with the rather imposing associates over there has just made a very competitive offer for the device. Care to make a counter bid? You said there weren't any other buyers, Quinn! to pay those guards to my off. Hold it! I am Nog, son of Grand Nagus Ra. And I am a Ferengi. And when you deal with these people, you deal with me. Uh, you have a choice. Either deal with me, or I ask my father to have a word with the liquidators about your poor business practices. Um, well, I'm sure we could come to an understanding. That's what I thought. Now, kiss the staff. Get out! Not you, Quinn. Here's my best offer. How? No? Fine. How about I answer your questions and meet the device is Krenim in origin? The Vodwar, that's what! At one point, the Krenum Imperium held more than 200 star systems in the Delta Quadrant. I picked it up from a Talaxian who wanted to trade for supplies. The Talaxian wasn't very clear on that. He just said, gone. As a show of good faith to the son of the Nagus, I'm willing to tell you for free. But don't let- Do I look like a member of the Vulcan Science Academy to you? I don't know. These shields break this game. There you go, it's out. Don't let the staff of office and these good looks fool you. <laughs> I'm here as a Starfleet officer, and I don't normally flaunt my family connections, but in this case, it seemed like the best way to solve the problem. So I borrowed my dad's second best staff. Interesting. I know Voyager encountered the Krenum during the journey, and Tuvok was looking for survivors of the Vaudoir purchase. For now, though, perhaps we should concentrate on learning what we can from this device. Quinn left without taking down his security, but fortunately I know how to get around it. I think you can overload the EPS conduits in the corner there. Now that the power flow is disrupted, we can override the administrative access requirement. The controls are, yes, over here by the artifact. Excellent. Now we can get a good look at this. The waveforms aren't like anything I've seen before. I think I'm getting something. This is definitely Krenum in origin. 
and Quinn was right on the age. I'm also seeing some repeating elements in the base code, uh, almost like a signature. And that strange energy Quinn was talking about is actually chronotons, a lot of chronotons. And chronotons mean temporal manipulation. This little box just got a lot more interesting. I'll take the device back to my ship, the Chimera, and have a look while we're on the way to the Kiana system. From what I understand, Voyager sent an away team to the Kiana system a few weeks ago, but they encountered some resistance and were forced to pull back before they can find what they were looking for. I've explored many places as a Starfleet officer, but this is my first time seeing the Delta Quadrant. According to Quinn, the Krenum artifact came from this system. I hope we haven't come all this way just to chase ghosts. I've had a chance to look at the Krenum device, although I'm not sure how to activate it yet. It's definitely designed for temporal manipulation, although I don't think it would enable someone to travel through time. It's almost like a step sideways, if that makes any sense at all. I'll keep Voyager's preliminary scans of the system turned up a number of anomalies, but nothing conclusive. According to Krenum records, though, there's supposed to be an M-class planet in this system. We're not reading anything like that on the sensors. Could be. Let's check that wreckage out first. It might give us a better idea of what happened out here. And we should be on the lookout for Vodwar. Preliminary scans indicate they've been actively patrolling through this system. Keep an eye out for Vodwar. They're still patrolling this area. place a bet. I'd say that wreckage is where this artifact was found. Status. Space listen mode is off. Ground interface mode is off. Where shall we go today, Captain? Listen. Computer online. Space command subroutines active. Listening. What is your command, Captain? Heads up! On war, on it. Boarding mission. Boarding party away. I hope they make it, Captain. Rock and roll. I am elite in the room. The wreckage appears to be Krenum. The weapon signatures are definitely Vodwar. According to Voyager, the Krenum were a fairly small society. There had to be a reason the Vodwar went out of their way to target them. Let's move. There might be more ships in range. Launch shuttle. Shuttle launched. Shuttle away. Engage. Engage. Engaging, sir. There are more Vodwar on an intercept course, but we may be able to avoid them. I suggest we use the mineral content of the asteroids I've marked to conceal our energy signatures. Vodwar sensors aren't as good as ours. Most of their technological advantage appears to be directed toward making better weapons. So. It's must be looking for that Vardwar patrol. I don't think those heralds detected us. Let's hope they don't come back this way. Inbound. The 
Bonfar must have gotten a signal out. So much for our investigation. Boarding party. Boarding party. Oh, well. I think they make it happen. Yeah, I tell you what's the secret weapon? It's these flippin' rifles. Get us out of here, Captain. This doesn't make Deactivate. sense. Deactivate. There's nothing here that would cause the readings I was seeing from orbit, but there are traces Deactivate. of Chronotron. Voice deactivate. Getting us out of here, Captain. Getting no. us out of here, Captain. This doesn't make sense. There's nothing here that would cause the readings I was seeing from orbit, but there are traces of Chronotron particles. I've never known chronotrons to appear naturally without some sort of temporal manipulation going on, but there's nothing here. I'm starting to come up with a theory, but I need some more data. I recommend we take some additional scans. Exactly, but we need to be quick. Those patrols we encountered in orbit will be missed soon. I'm going to order the Chimera to try to avoid contact, but warn us if more ships arrive. These tall spires are charged with temporal energy. Curious. It's almost like it's in a state of temporal flux. I need to get some scans. There's something going on. There are more mineral deposits over there. There's a resonant frequency here that's not natural. I'm reading another anomaly ahead. Anomalies have a shape, like a warp field, but not quite the same. The only other place I've seen sensor readings like this was in the wormhole. Here any moment. This area looks defensible. Get ready. I have an idea. We need to use the device. I've been trying to activate it and I've almost got it. Keep them busy. If I can get it working, I should be able to conceal us. Okay, time to test out these new weapons. Here they come!
One more connection and that should...
if you'll forgive the pun, I managed to buy us some time. It's taken me some time to convince the Krenim to help us, but they finally agreed. Remember how I said the device could remove someone from the time stream? It did. That's where we are now, in the temporal bubbles. And how no one's shooting at us, I think that's a good thing. I've had some time to observe you and Captain Nog, and your actions make it clear that you are no friend of the Vaudoir or the Heralds. This does not, however, assure me that you will be allies to my people. The Krenim have lost much. Our empire is gone, and our people have been killed or scattered. You have already repaired some of our emitters that were damaged by the attack, but there is more yet to do. More of our emitters must be realigned. Your fight overloaded. Okay, now it's starting to look like something. Temporal compensators are out of alignment. They help keep us at a stable point in the timeline. You should realign the Matrix Crystals. You need to disconnect the buffer before... Good, I'll put the next location on your tricorder. Hold this. No, hold it right next to the bracket. You need to scan for microfractures. You'll need to formulate an epoxy. Here, I can show you which formula to use. That should do it. You've shown you're willing to help. Now perhaps we can come to a mutually beneficial arrangement. We have Anorax's plans, but not the... Interesting. The Heralds are opening a gateway. The repairs should be enough.
Continue our plan. The whole must be as one. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, <coughs> I can't help thinking for an incredibly advanced um, technology in society. They have no idea of time travel, travel, and they um, they can't repair his arm. I mean, I can see it being scarred, but I can't see him not being able to get a prosthetic arm or something or regrow it with a scar. Ah well. They couldn't see us. Small quibbles. There were Iconians right in front of us, and nothing. They had no idea we were here. We were completely safe. The only protection left to my people is our ability to manipulate time. But it is something we must do with great care. Even the most innocuous of changes can ripple through reality in unexpected ways. My people and I have made Anorax's theories of temporal manipulation our lives work. In at least one temporal variant, his ship made the Krenum Imperium the undisputed masters of this region of space. If only we could recreate that vessel. Anorax designed a ship. A wondrous vessel that could manipulate the time streams and erase elements in an attempt to bring about a desired result. Our records show that he even attempted to use this vessel to restore the Krenim's fortunes, but he was defeated by an unknown alliance. Afterward, the Krenim Imperium declined, as perhaps was its fate all along. We were diminished, but content to let time progress as it would. Until the Vardwar, the first Krenum worlds to fall, managed to warn the others. When the Vardwar came, we hid ourselves in the time stream. It was the only way we survived. Before the Vardwar arrived, we were working on a relic. It was a replica of Anorax's time ship. With it, we could have gone back and eliminated the Vardwar threat before it even began. The Vardwar's assault on the Imperium took too much from us. Now we possess Anorax's work, but not the means to bring it to life. You have seen what our technology can do. We have the designs. You have the manpower and the materials. Perhaps your governments would be interested in mutual cooperation. Allow us a chance to undo what the Vardwar did and we will give you something that will erase your enemies from time itself. There's more here than what you've seen. You've hidden the entire planet? Yes, we removed ourselves from the time stream to stay alive. With your help, we can change everything. You hid an entire planet? But you can't build this time ship on your own? We have the plans. Our resources are almost gone. We have shipyards, workers, and all the materials you could need. Precisely. We revealed ourselves to you as a gesture of good faith. What will you do in return? The Iconians and the Heralds are gone. It's safe to resync with our time and contact our ship. But this is huge! A whole Krenum colony that survived the Vodwar? One that has temporal technology that even the Iconians can't counter? A weaponized timeship that can erase entire civilizations like they never existed? This could change the entire war! We... we could have a chance now!
Fahren. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Pale Starfleet. Temporal mechanics is not a complication we need, but this weapon they are proposing sounds intriguing. You and Captain Nog were correct in thinking the Alliance would be interested in investigating such a thing. Personally, I approve of anything the Iconians might fear. Kapla! Kapla! Okay. So that was time in a bottle, and I've just got my universal thingy. Let's. Nanite health monitor. Soothing pheromones. Tachyon harmonic. That cone is rubbish. Sonic pulse. Yeah. Shield drone is awesome, but I can only have one. Um, the one I really want to get rid of is that Tachyon Harmonic. That's minus 18,000. <sighs> what do I reckon? Yep, yeah, I never use it. Ah, ah, ah. Let me out. Oh. Okay. Quite sure what's going on there. Um. Onwards to Broken Circle. in the bottom.